Hey everybody, welcome back to Capes. We're gonna take on this campaign mission here. It looks like perhaps we can get another super to join us, which would be awesome. Uh, I also talked to the devs and it seems like you can redo these simulator missions and they would grant XP. I'm not sure if you can keep doing that for XP, probably not, but you can also go back and get SP from the stuff that you haven't completed previously. So probably a good idea to do and maybe something I'll do off camera, but uh, let's focus on this one right now. Which way the wind blows an unusual signal has been detected in the docks. Let's go. Meanwhile, somewhere in King City. The enhanced program is finally paying dividends. Is it? Are we counting all the exploded subjects as successes now? Power ramping has always been an issue. And scientific breakthroughs don't come without cost. I just don't think anyone's going to sign up for a program where their entire standing army detonates after a few fights, Lucas. Oh, you're taking her side on this. The heart wants what it wants. And anyway, her stuff works, Lucas. Mine is close, but I need more subjects. You promised me fresh supers. And I'm getting them. But not because I care about your project. I'm doing it because blowing up capes is never not fun. <laughs> <sighs> I wouldn't mind playing as the villains. I got a hit. A hit on what? I've been trying to track where the company Tinder profile suits. There doesn't appear to be any centralized location that I can make out. However, I'm picking up activity down by the docks. This could be the lead we need. Get in, suss it out, and report back. On it, boss. Okay. Let's go, baby. JJE shipping. Okay, Nothing suspect. Uh... Okay. In, out, and home again for the... Welcome to the lodge. Sorry about the smell speech. Yeah, just be careful in there. Right. I'll port us in closer. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> I'm picking up some weird vibes from this place. Is it the dead people, maybe? What happened here? I don't like this. Uh, guys? There's more. What is this place? Is this what they're doing to the supers they capture? Is this what they could have done to us? I think they were tortured to death. This is wrong. We've got to get them down from there. Why? Why would they even do this? Make sure they're the only ones with powers. He's alive. Hang on, man. We'll get you down. He's still... Here! Oh, what's he? Such power. Where was that energy, Shit. that spirit, when I wanted to play? Is A that... bona fide supervillain, huh? Oh, that title never grows old. Has Paul told you about any of us? About me? You know, I think I genuinely hurt his feelings when I stabbed him in the back. Something's not right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You tried to blast me while I was mid monologue. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. Oh no, no, no. Please stop. I uh, uh... Love it. Classic superhero stuff right there. It's cool how they dynamically move the little... I, I don't know what this is called. We could have had so much more fun. This thing. Thing is, during the showdown, I killed three of Paul's teammates in a single day. That was a long time ago, of course. I must be rusty. Not that I have a problem using a rusty implement. So who wants to find out what the other side of their face skin looks like? Uh, he's telling the truth. The face stuff and the other stuff about killing the old capes. Oh, kids, I'm an open book. You want to find out what sort of mess I've got in my mind? I'm happy.
happy to demonstrate. He's going to kill us. No. Well, yes, but not right now. I'm in middle management now, you see. Now I've got people who do this stuff for me. Send in the goons. Honestly. These oh. goons aren't even worth your time. Well, he calls them that. <laughs> That's funny. But there's a rhythm to this sort of thing. So, have at it. Dude, that's entirely too many. That's insane. Oh, man. Was that even him? Or some sort of projection? Good question. But we've got bigger problems right now. Uh, yeah. What? Okay. How do you even begin? Use facets growth. So, his growth is this. Use mine fires disarm, no hero KOs, and use an ultimate. There's one phase. So, okay. It seems like we're going to need to be doing some, like, pathing, blocking, and stuff. What is this? He's heavy. Reduces the effect of push. Push resist one. Okay, so that's new. We got pistols here. We got pipes. He's a heavy. So each group is basically the same makeup, right? But how do we... How do we... How are we going to tackle this? Uh, one thing we probably want to try doing here is, like, group taunting. And then maybe even setting everybody up in a path where we can, like, block... The growth. I'm gonna crystallize. And we'll I'll try to bring everybody like back here. And then he starts to tank. Is the plan. It's interesting, like, they might come around this way. I feel like they definitely could. This is cr This might take me a couple of attempts here. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. I have to use Disarm three times, Fastest Growth three times. I mainly am just focused on surviving, though, if I'm being totally honest. Unlocks his focus ability. Focus allows Mindfire to use all his move points to gain an additional action point. Right, right, right. Additionally, focus allows Mindfire to reuse uh, any one ability or ultimate, allowing him to deal even more damage or lend support. So I think what we want to do with him is have him in a spot where he doesn't have to move. Right? Oh, did I... I freaking blocked him? Okay, I have, a, I have a play for that. Not intentional, but... I did kind of mess that up. Okay. From here, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with her. We're just going to throw Fade on. I can't do... Any attacks, really. And this will let me teleport him out. Or I could just teleport him here. Whoa, let's cake next time, buddy. Do you have any idea how much you weigh? And then gain additional action and option to reuse any ability or ultimate. Like, they're not in range of me right now anyways, so... I think I'm just going to chill here. It's a bit awkward of a start, but... It's going to take him a bit of time to get to me. Brawlers are the muscle of the King City Underworld. Brawlers never use weapons, but will automatically counterattack any adjacent attacker, even if they're not attacking the brawler themselves. It's best to deal with brawlers quickly and from range. Wish we had some exploding barrels here. Okay. So, now facets here. Does this growth... Oh, breaks apart in two turns. I was going to say, does this stay, like, permanently? Because that's pretty freaking cool. 
We could taunt there, but ultimately I don't think I need to. Uh, we could just be putting growth on. Here's what I, here's what I think we do. Let's delay him. We use her because for her we want to be like bouncing in and out. Disarming, killing, wherever we can. That kind of thing. Oh. Oh, that's what it... Oh. That's what it means. Okay, yep. My bad. My bad. And I'm not actually behind him. I can feel the power building. Yeah, this is not... This is this is going to be a redo. Actually, in fact, let's redo because that is not the vibe. Okay. So we're going to do this slightly differently. Let's start with her. Any adjacent attacker. So here we go. Okay. We kind of have a bit of an opening here. And then she could teleport to this other side. But this is going to hit a bunch. That's good. I could do this all day. She kills one. Surprise and then she teleports. Okay. Now here... I think we'll delay as well. He can't reach anything from here, unfortunately. Let's see if I can get a disarm. We'll take that. Get your own. And then we'll get a little bit of damage here. And then run him back here. Facets gonna need to be in front. And ultimately, we do want him getting hit. So... Can you use a growth on one? That guy can't get in range. This is the only guy that can hit. But I don't mind getting hit by him. He's doing one damage. And we have the, uh, Crystallize. Okay. Now. I mean, I might as well. Let's put it on him, even though he could hit us. I don't think we're going to have problems getting hit. I can't take these capes. Okay. Oh, this guy, he's got his back to us. Can we go up top? No, we can't. I mean, I can kill him, but it's going to take two attacks. It's not the end of the world, I guess. Or... I can kill this guy. And then we can maybe create some diversions where they're, like, chasing her around a bit. We just gotta try to clear the board. For you, a little power for me. Right, so if we play around with their distances. I think that's fine. 
Okay, now, you... With the vulnerable stuff... They're gonna engage with him. He can't get to us. So I think... We start trying to focus on some bigger guys here. It's unfortunate this guy's not in range. I could go for a disarm attempt there. But I could also clear out, like... We could start clearing a bit. And building his ultimate. This guy's actually being blocked by him. If I kill him, he will have access. So maybe I put some work into this guy. Because they're, they're creating a bit of their own problem here. Currently, anyways. Wait, can you not reach that for some reason? That's annoying. So I could cast the vulnerable, but I can't cast anything else. Ooh. Okay, well. That's fair. Facet! I need more stuff to throw at these guys! Okay, so now we're gonna use focus. And I know this is not gonna- I, I could kill him, but I'm gonna weaken these guys... ...instead. Mind fire. Use these. Okay. Now, we are crystallized. I could even put up a growth here... ...to further cause them some... ...problems. Or I could just lock him down again. I think I'm going to put it here. Give them something that they have to play around. And then I could kill this guy. I don't think I need to taunt. I don't need the shield shard. If we do this... He kills. One less problem to deal with. And then this guy's gonna get engaged there, which could be a problem, but we'll have some... Well, actually. Yeah, if he goes there, that is a bit of a problem. Because then he's gonna have us both locked, and I'm gonna want to move Minefire. So for that reason, we'll do this. Let him get attacked. That's fine. Okay. So, that I think that's the plan. Create some pathing problems. Get the easy kills where we can. Hits are just bouncing up. Okay. We have his back, so he dies. Oh, that broke too. What Neat. Are they doing? I don't like it. Uh, okay. It does get blocked by this. We'll do this. We'll do the disarm. My weapon. Oh, we actually have to do mine fires disarm more. That's true. Okay. Oh, she has her ult. Oh, damn. I just realized that. Oh, I'd re really like to use it in there. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use it on these two. And we'll build it up again. Incredible. No coming back from that. Okay, so he does have to move here, which means I can't do his double. But he is going to get attacked. I think. I could taunt.
But who's going to act? Two and three are going to act. Which is not a big deal, because they're kind of all blocked here. So let's do this, and we'll have him focus over here. I could do one disarm here, but ultimately I think I'll end up killing him before that matters. Ugh, what did I eat? Getting closer. Need something extra for these freaks. Okay, so now... Oh, he can't see him. He might go for him anyways. He's technically closer. All, basically, everyone's going to act, and they're all near him. So I really hope that that's enough. I could just... I can't even growth him. And if I growth one of these guys, they could still attack. But if I attack, then I'm getting hit with the counter. So I don't want to do attacks either. It's probably best for me to shield shard. And regular growth somebody. all I got. How do we stop that guy? It's like hitting a rock. He's unstoppable. He's getting tanky. Got that delay. He is taking a lot of damage here though, like I'm just bouncing off him. I'm gonna need I'm going to need to... Huh, this is going to be so hard. Because what I, what I need is this. I need her... Uh, teleport. So I need to be in that tile. Preferably having a move out of there for her. Oh, but that's not even going to work because... Okay. So six is going to hit him. Then he's going to have his growth thing, but that's not going to really solve the problem. the power building yeah I bet they can both reach those spaces this might take me a, a couple of tries here this is really challenging because he's gonna drop here man this guy's going to act. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't feel so good. We have the right idea. We just kind of mis-executed in here, but we had the right idea. Him getting engaged by four is just it's a little too many. So I maybe can't keep him as stationary. Jeez, he's still alive. They didn't say he could do that. But that really doesn't help me. Because now we die.
prevents attacks of opportunity. So that opportunist attack... I don't know, like, you would think that that wouldn't count, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Okay. I'm charging up. Okay, so there's a chance. This guy's gonna come and hit her. I wish he had like a... I wish we could heal or something. Wouldn't that be amazing? Because now he can't even take a hit. Which is pretty scary. It looks like if I block this path, he only has he can only go here and he wouldn't be able to hit us. Let's see. Sick. Guys, we are still in it. We are still in it. Now, do I go for backstab or do I go in here to get a little bit of damage on everybody? But not build her ultimate, which is clearly very powerful. I think we do here to build the ultimate. Surprise, punks! Never gets old. Who's gonna act next? Uh, three? Where's three? Oh! Okay, he's fine. Four is gonna act next, but he's locked. And five is locked. So then Facet will move. Okay! Okay. I mean, he can technically get to those white squares. Man, they've- they've conveyed a lot of very good information. Like, this is- this system is so intricately designed, it's very, very cool. Okay. So. Who's the priority here? He's stuck. I should definitely move a bit. Because this guy. We do have his ultimate coming soon. That guy's killable. Even without vulnerable, uh, without vulnerable being on. Huh. I could kill this guy. But then this guy could come hit him. But he'd, he'll go... He'll likely go for him. But he won't if I'm not... Uh, if I'm... He, like, if I move him further away, which I kind of want to do. So I think we... I think I do need to do the move here. Just make sure that nobody can actually reach him. Then... I guess put the vulnerable on. Hmm. Because I'm thinking... If I put the vulnerable on, then I'm building the ultimate. Right? And he would die. Or, I could just take the kill, move him over, and start disarming here. So he doesn't have that delay. Which is very annoying. But also, I just can't get hit with him right now. I just can't, right? Uh, so, I guess that doesn't really matter. For now. So let's focus on building the ultimate. Keep the pressure on Mindfire! 
Let's go here. Okay. Now. Movement wise. This guy gets here. He gets everywhere that I get. Unless I lock him down with growth, which isn't a bad idea. It's basically mandatory. I could turn off Crystallize, because if I get hit right now anyways at half uh, this amount of health, I'm basically gone. So that doesn't even really matter. And I think having the extra movement would be better. This is an action, though. And I could just kill this guy, is the other thing. Move up here, kill him. But I still don't have enough to get away. Right? Because I'd be here, I'd have two actions left, and I need to get to outside that white space. So here's what I'm going to do. Uncrystallize. Move here. Kill him. Now... These guys can and will engage. And I don't want that. I want to be outside of that range by quite a bit. Well, as much as I can be. Okay. <laughs> this is very dicey right now. Okay, he blocked. He blocked that. That is exceptional news. Check this out now. Okay. So this, this could be big. Because I'm going to get the backstab. Her ultimate is charged. Now... I should probably just take this. Or I could fade. But, uh, yeah, I need to move. So if I move her to here, then I could target her ultimate on all this stuff. But that doesn't leave me with a space that's safe either. But she might kill some of these. So I, I would be taking a bit of a gamble that I can kill these some of these guys with mine fire. This guy can't technically reach us, although he could get to a position where we're locked down. Uh, who's going to act next? This guy, if we don't kill him. I think it's better for me just to kill him. Yeah, why, yeah, why wouldn't I? I'm just overthinking that a bit. Oh, th yeah, the idea was because then I might uh, want to have Fade for an attack down here. Just looking at some of the overlaps there. So it looks like right about there is good. Okay, well we took one out. That's that's great. Get down. Hide. That is that is freaking awesome. He can't reach anybody. He can reach here, but he's killable. And then he can get in, but he can't attack. Yeah, okay. I think we chill. Now. Now. Uh, yes, there is the disarm option. I could disarm, refresh, disarm, get both of those done, and kill him.
But next turn... So he'll come down. Then Facet will go. And I could lock him down. But then he's going to break out right after that. Because what I'm thinking is I'm going to need to get Mindfire out of there. Because we don't want to attack next to these guys. But uh, we might be able to finesse some delays. Like, I'm just curious. I don't want to do this. But if I delayed this, it's just delaying to the end of the of the big guy's turn. Putting me here. Then I wonder if I could delay again. So that Facet goes. And we could lock somebody down. Is that even necessary? Am I just overcomplicating it? I am trying to get these too, because now we're in a we're actually in a very good spot. Oh, my wrist. My wrist. We don't have the range to kill him here, and then it, with, uh, I'm just looking at, maybe I put the vulnerable on, and then I get the ultimate charged up with Facet's attack, but if I come down, if this guy comes down here, Facet moves up here, and he does that attack, this guy will counterattack, and he'll die. So we don't want that. I could just kill him. Worry about the other stuff after. They won't be back in Let's go. Okay, this is this is great. This is great. Lock him down there. Uh Yeah, I mean I could even taunt him. And then run. I'm right here. Come get me. Oh, dudes, we're doing it. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I thought this was going to take us like now multiple I'll tries. Show them. Okay. Now, I want to delay this turn. So he's going to go... Oh, we'll focus actions on Facet if they're within range. So, so maybe that doesn't work the way I'm anticipating that. Because he's not technically in range. Huh. Okay, interesting. I'm going to switch back to her. Backstab. A little stabby for you, a little power for me. Now, if I fade here, what I could do is I could get in range. I could get into here. Uh, but then he's there. I could get to here. And fade. Or, well, I don't, why, again, I think I'm maybe just overcomplicating it. If I just take the backstab here, then we get the kill with mine fire. And then this guy can't reach us anyways. And we'll have Facet before then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So do we do that? Power building. I mean, and technically, she could still move. So like... I 
I may want... Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to put her... I'm looking at the linkages. So I'm going to put her here. Now we go to Mindfire. Yeah, this is sick. And he's going to get this kill because of the vulnerable. What did I eat? We're going to throw this down. And now we've got his ultimate. Target, Mindfire. And it says I can reuse my ultimate. So I'm curious, like, if I use this. Oh, are you serious, dude? Are you serious? So I have to move to use this, but then I can't reuse the focus. So do I just let him come in? So that we can experiment with this? I think so. I think so. We're not going to do it. Yeah, this is fine. I can't believe we pulled this off. I'm, I want him to go this direction, is basically what I'm trying to achieve there. Okay, so now let's delay. Still can't see him. Oh my god. Okay, well, we'll end up killing him here. But I wanted to try to reuse the alt. I don't feel so good. Take that. Sick. I can't believe that. That was awesome. I, I immediately in the first attempt, I was like, I know I'm doing this. This is not the vibe. Let's get this guy some help. But decrystallizing and running there, that was that was solid. And he got down to that like half measure, so. Think you're tough. <laughs> what a display. Zap. Oh. Biff. The capes are back in town. Kidding! I've scraped better superheroes than you off my boots. Well, bits of them anyway. Ah, this has been fun, very nostalgic, but next time, I am going to kill you. So you know. See you around. He's gone now. I think. God, what an asshole. You think he really helped kill all those supers? He sure seemed to know a lot about Doctrine. And what was that about the last time he tried this? What Doctrine did, whatever he's planning to do now, I can't read him. We'd better get this guy to the Lodge's med unit. Well, it does look like we're getting a super, though. What am I planning? <laughs> My plans are exactly what they've always been. End the company. Why did Wildstar call you Paul? Kel was a hero once. We have history. That psycho was a hero? Every hero's a bit cracked, kid. <laughs> it's not a normal way to live. A bit cracked? He just tried to have us killed. He killed all those people. This guy was tortured half to death. Nonsense. He was just testing you. He'll try to kill you later. And you? You look like crap. Did Wildstar mention what the company was planning next? I... I don't know. Well, that's just great. Go get some rest. We're gonna need you in the field soon enough. And not to mention, that was very tough, but we also got all of the uh, optional objectives. That's big. me in coach weather vane okay what's your vibe so you got lightning scourge deals damage to all enemies in range hitting each other uh hitting each enemy once okay damage to range five that's his ultimate chain lightning 
Damage a target in range, requires line of sight, damage arcs to additional targets in range. Targets include explosive obstacles and facets growths. So we read that on the growth, something about chain lightning, so that's neat. Arc range two. Okay. Drag, target anyone in a straight line and pull them closer. Gust, target anyone in a straight line knocking them back, causes disarm as well. Nice range on these. And then punch, damage and knock back an adjacent enemy. Okay. So, you're pulling somebody in. And then you want to punch. But his chain lightning seems very strong with the arcing. So he's like, he's more about repositioning. Okay. Well, I can't upgrade him because he needs to level. However, we do have 7 SP. Deal high damage to a single target at range requires line of sight. I think we should take that. And then she's got a strike upgrade, increases damage by half. Increase backstab damage on teleport spin by half. That's really nice. I use that a lot. Or growth. Knocking enemies into growth causes additional damage. Yeah, I think we're going to take the teleport spin damage here. Sweet. Okay. Rebound has a conversation. Weather Vane, we'll wait till we get his, but let's go through her story now, too. Rebound has bounced around the intelligence community for several years in all sorts of unofficial capacities. Cut out Spook Handler. Interesting. Everyone needs somebody who can easily walk between different worlds and who doesn't ask too many questions. Developing the power to move instantly from one place to another came in real handy. Of course, in King City, you either work for the company or you get vanished. Rebound's attempt to play both sides against the middle. Worked out fine right up until it didn't, and Rebound wasn't left with many options. How Doctrine knew she was in trouble and how he managed to arrive at just the right time are questions Rebound would really like to know the answers to, but she wasn't in position to look a gift horse in the mouth. How you settling in? You checking in to make sure I'm okay? You seem to be shouldering a lot. Somebody's got to make sure you're not doing it alone. It's definitely a lot. I... I don't know what I thought I was signing up for, but this ain't it. Which part? All of it. I expected, I don't know, I had direction in my life, but it never felt right. Then I became covered with all of this. Doc turned up and I thought, you know, this is it. This is my calling. That's good though. Like hell. I'm as dissatisfied now as I was when I was studying law. The reality never seems to line up with what's in my head. Yeah? Well, you know, the Buddha says that the end of suffering is like letting go of wanting things. Since when are you a Buddhist? Since never. I read a lot, though. Well, thanks for the chat. Not sure I'm done wanting things, though. If we didn't want this city to be a better place, would we even do any of this? Okay, so I got my wisdom from a quote-a-day calendar that I read on my ex-girlfriend's toilet. So that question is way above my pay grade. Have you tried dancing like nobody's watching? He probably has, yes, honestly. Okay, so now we can do more patrols, and we can go back to this one where we have four slots, and we'll tackle that, and it'll probably be so much easier. This one, too, we could go back and do, and have uh, four heroes and do all this. I think that would be great. And that would be one where it might be fun to try uh, in the video. So if this one goes really quickly, then maybe we'll jump back, and these can kind of be like bonuses at the end of episodes or something but let me know what you guys think guys we'll see you next time thank you so much hope you're having a super time like i am bye for now